Okay, so we're going to be learning uh, how to make inferences. So making inferences is trying to figure out some information that is not told to you while you're reading something. Um, so here are some tips. So you read the text. The next, use clues from the text to help you figure out information. And then use what you already know. So like making connections. Okay, so it's kind of a confusing topic uh, when you first are learning it. So we're going to go over some examples here to help you out. All right, so the first example is the dog barked when he saw a bushy tail running up the tree trunk. And the question is, what did the dog see? So we're not going to say the dog saw a bushy tail running up the tree trunk. So it's describing something, and this is now where we put on our detective hats and use the clues in there to help us figure it out. So the bushy tail running up the tree trunk, um, those are some good clues there on what it could be. So I'll give you a few seconds on what you think the dog barked at or what did he see. All right, we'll move on to number two. The cat meowed when he heard the door open. He was hungry. So the question is, what did the cat want? So use the clues that are in there to help you figure out what the cat wanted. All right, the next one is, the boys built a sandcastle after they went swimming. The question is, where were the boys? All right, so once again, detectives, use the clues, use your connections, make a guess. All right, and last example, then I'll go over all of the possible answers, um, is it was hot and my snack was melting. I had to eat it quickly. So once again, use the clues, make some connections, make a guess of what were they eating. All right, now to go over the answers, um, number one, most likely a squirrel. Uh, number two, what did the cat want? Well, the cat wanted food. Uh, any cat owners out there would know with the meowing and um, that they usually want something. Uh, number three, the boys built a sandcastle. Where were they? So they were not at a pool. You can go swimming at a pool, but can you build a sandcastle at a pool? No. So they must have been at a beach because you can do swimming and sandcastle at both of those. And then lastly, um, what were they eating? It was something to do with ice cream, right? So we can say an ice cream cone, ice cream sandwich. So there, there can be different answers, but you want to make the best guess possible, okay? So those are some examples of making inferences. Now I have uh, one last example. It's a bit of a, like a mini story, and I'll go over some of the, the questions there. So here it is. It's called A Movie. Jill and Beth want to see a movie. They go get a ticket, go to get a ticket. They buy a snack. They sit down and see the movie. They smile and laugh. When they leave, Jill steps on a pink thing. It is sticky and will not get off. So we can make an inference or infer something from this. It doesn't tell us what the pink thing is. So what you should be thinking about is something pink, something sticky and pink, right? And it will not get off. So those are the clues to let us know what this pink sticky thing is that will not get off, okay? It also mentions that Jill steps on this pink sticky thing, all right? So hopefully right now you're thinking about chewing gum or gum, and that's most likely what it was. Okay, um, you could have come up with maybe some kind of pink candy, like a, maybe a jujube or something like that. But uh, most likely it would be gum. But that's that's using those clues to help you.
right? Um, now we can also infer something else from earlier on in this little story here. It says they buy a snack. Think about a snack that people buy at the movies. Give you a few seconds. Now, what do you think that snack would be? Popcorn, most likely. I know you can buy other snacks there, but um, a good connection to a movie is popcorn, right? So we can probably infer that the snack they bought was popcorn. All right, so there's a little bit of an introduction to uh, inferring or making inferences. All right, good luck.